even the most big budget movies can contain mistakes. Some of these mistakes go unnoticed, which can't help thinking others have either been blissfully ignored or improperly fixed. In this video, we'll take you through some mistakes that the people behind big budget movies were too cheap to bother fixing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, it's the best way of keeping up to date with all of Screen Rant's great new videos. Gladiator, the visible gas canister. In the scene in which a reenactment of the Battle of Carthage took place, a chariot hits a wall and flips over. But the flip reveals a gas canister hidden in the back, with the canister having been used to make sure the flip actually happened. Now, there's no doubt whatsoever that the Romans were responsible for many technological advancements and important inventions, including things like concrete, underfloor heating, and the calendar that the modern calendar is based on. Powerful combination. But we're pretty sure that gas propulsion was beyond even those famous historic trailblazers. This mistake was so noticeable that you have to imagine the people behind the movie were just too cheap to reshoot the scene. Look at your mama. Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, little guy. American Sniper, the fake baby. Although American Sniper has one of the lowest budgets of the movies included in this video, it still cost almost $60 million to make, and therefore this particular mistake is absolutely inexcusable. The 2014 offering had an incredibly jarring scene in which Bradley Cooper's character was holding his newborn son. Instead of being given a real baby to hold, Cooper was forced to use a doll. And to say that it was far from lifelike doll would be a massive understatement. When you consider how realistic movie props can be these days, the fact that this was clearly a child's toy was incredibly cheap on the movie maker's part, especially given how obviously ridiculous and unconvincing it looked in the released version of the movie. Seriously, Cooper must have been embarrassed to interact with that ridiculous baby. <laughs> uh. oh, boy. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Frozen, magic intangible hair. 2013's Frozen is the most commercially successful animated film of all time, having grossed a whopping $1.276 billion worldwide. The brilliant musical offering is a bona fide modern classic, and $150 million of Disney's money went into making it. So you'd think that all of the animation would be seamless and on point, but it actually wasn't. In one of the scenes in which Elsa is singing the iconic and award singing song, Let It Go, she lets her hair down, and there's a very obvious mistake in the animation when she does. Her plated locks seem to phase magically through her torso, which was very poor on the part of the animators. A few extra frames being added to make sure it swung around her shoulder and landed on her chest weren't too much to ask for. It's not like Disney's short for cash. <laughs> Spider-Man, the reappearing extra. Even back in 2002, superhero movies were being made with huge budgets. Sam Raimi's iconic first Spider-Man offering cost a hefty $139 million to make, for example. But the people behind its casting still got pretty cheap when it came to hiring extras, which resulted in a rather silly mistake. In the scene in which Peter Parker had his chat with Mary Jane Watson outside the Moondance Diner where she worked, one man could be seen walking behind Peter three or four times. He doesn't want to be famous, and I'll make him infamous! The man was very obvious and was dressed in navy slacks, a trench coat, and a flat cap. Surely when the movie had such a big budget, they could have afforded to use enough extras to ensure this kind of thing didn't happen. Titanic Rose's Beauty Spot The epic disaster movie has grossed a humongous $2.1 billion, and with a budget of $200 million, the filmmakers must have known it was going to be a success, which makes this mistake all the more baffling. Only one side of the Titanic was recreated for the movie, which meant that any time the other side had to be depicted on screen, the image had to be flipped. That resulted in a number of very obvious inconsistencies, such as Rose's beauty spot moving to the other side of her face. Building just a small portion of the other side of the ship could have fixed this, but the filmmakers were just too cheap to do it. They should have just rebuilt the Titanic, and then sunk it, and then lived on it. This is so Tangled. Rapunzel's Missing Hair When it comes to animated movies, there has never been a more expensive production than 2010's Tangled. The Walt Disney Animation Studios offering cost a staggering $260 million to make, making it the sixth most expensive movie of all time, as well as the most expensive animation. So if any animation was going to be void of mistakes, you'd think it would be this one, but it definitely wasn't. 
In the scene in which Rapunzel escapes the tower, when she lands on the floor, her hair is indeed very long. But there's a heck of a lot of it missing. In fact, the entire length of it that allowed her to climb down from the top has completely disappeared, which the animators must have known. They probably just didn't think that they were being paid enough to work that much hair into the scene. Good night, Mr. Wayne. The Dark Knight Rises, the misspelled headline. Although it's not as good as its own 2008 predecessor, 2012's The Dark Knight Rises is generally seen as one of the better comic book offerings to have ever hit movie theaters. Christian Bale was as great as ever in the titular role, Michael Caine was his usual brilliant self, Tom Hardy made a compelling villain, and Anne Hathaway's Selina Kyle added a little something extra. But there was a headline relating to Kyle on a mocked up newspaper in the movie that was rather embarrassing for the filmmakers. When referring to a jewel heist, the word heist was spelled H-I-E-S-T. It's hard to believe nobody involved in the movie's production spotted it, so the studio must have just been too cheap to mock up another correct version of the newspaper. That is one big pile of shit. Jurassic Park, the live feed. Up until the release of the aforementioned Titanic four years later, 1993's Jurassic Park was the highest grossing movie of all time, and with good reason. Steven Spielberg's epic dinosaur adventure was fantastic from start to finish, the great cast portraying some compelling characters and, of course, some amazing dinosaurs created via both CGI and practical effects. But it wasn't without its errors. Hold on to your butts. When Wayne Knight's Dennis Nedry was about to implement his plan to smuggle dino embryos off Isla Nubar, he had a video call with a man at the island's docks. However, the footage of the man in question was clearly a video file, rather than a live feed. Video calls weren't exactly widely made back in 1993, but you'd have thought the people behind Jurassic Park's production would have pushed the boat out and at least made it look authentic. Hey, Cap, how do we know the good guys from the bad guys? If they're shooting at you, they're bad. Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Bucky's plaque. 2014's Captain America The Winter Soldier is one of the best comic book movies ever made, to the extent that it transcends the genre and is taken seriously by critics as a truly brilliant espionage thriller. But one scene had a very silly mistake. When Steve Rogers visited the National Air and Space Museum, he saw a commemorative plaque dedicated to his old friend, Bucky Barnes, the man who became the titular Winter Soldier. The plaque specifically stated that Bucky was born in 1916. The same plaque had his lifespan listed as being from 1917 to 1944. It's hard to believe everyone responsible for the movie missed this, so you'd got to think Marvel Studios thought it wasn't worth having another expensive plaque made. How did you get the house back from the bank? I bought the bank. Justice League, Superman's upper lip. 2017's Justice League was a train wreck. Sure, if you're satisfied by the mere concept of six prominent DC heroes teaming up on the big screen, you'll love it. But if it's a movie with substance you're looking for, you'll be disappointed. It was made even worse by Superman's weird top lip. Henry Cavill had been filming Mission Impossible 6 when he was called back for reshoots. He had a mustache in that movie and couldn't shave it off, so it was digitally removed in the reshot scenes. However, although it cost Warner Brothers a whole bunch of money, they obviously weren't prepared to pay as much as they should have to remove it with such a tight deadline, because it ended up looking ridiculous. On the flip side of the argument, why didn't the people behind Mission Impossible 6 just make Cavill a convincing prosthetic mustache instead? That's really not difficult these days. And that's the end of our video. Did you enjoy it? Which other big budget movies were too cheap to fix mistakes? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Screen Rant for more great videos just like this one. Bye for now.